All righty then, peeps. Good morning, everybody. My name's Seb. This is the Cam Boom. This is Seb Cam. And this is where I slept in this nice barn. It didn't rain, but it's just nice to be in here. I was in the shade. I woke up kind of late. A load of miles in the dark. I didn't film any of it. I just filmed me leaving with a big slurpy thing, and then I disappeared into the darkness. Made up a few miles. The road is right there. That's the road. Something's about to go by. You'll see. Ready, steady, there. So it's like the middle of nowhere. There's just old barns and these cornfields. It's been a nice day. I've enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. So scrunch up the hammock, stuff it in the belt. I've used this little bit of wood and my usual uh, plastic protection. Just something to keep it off the dirt. We have a special guest visiting today. A guest visitor. Amazingly, I had a phone signal in here to communicate to them exactly where I am, which road I'm running along. So I don't really want to say any more. I want it to be a surprise. But you wouldn't usually expect to see them out here in Missouri. I'll give you one clue. Wilson! There you go. No more clues. The people who've PayPal'd me will get to see a special secret hidden behind the scenes video. Never seen before, only just edited, almost an hour long. Uh, an extended episode, a special bonus feature that's only available to people by email at this point. It will eventually go on YouTube, but I like to give priority and exclusivity to those who are funding this. Couldn't do it without you guys. People like Tim Sheaf. Tim is a real good friend. He's always helped me out many times that I've done many adventures like this in the past and some have failed and Tim has always been a friend who would be willing to send me a little bit of pocket money to keep me going I know I could count on him if I really wanted to I could always contact him and be like hey could you help me out of this sticky situation and he'll be like I got you so I love Tim to bits I got a lot of time for Tim he's a truth seeker and a joy seeker and very brave and courageous to have gone through the journey he's gone and shared it all with everybody. I haven't spoke to him in person a lot recently, you know, the last few years, I mean. Uh, but it's nice to know he's watching. He watches every day, you know, while he eats his food. So hi, Tim, thank you. You've owned the barn shout out for today. There will be more. There's more of you appearing in the in the VIP PayPal Sebcam at gmail.com and then you'll get a reply from me personalized with all the secret links to secret videos, special bonus features, all of the live recordings I've ever done. It's like a catalog of archives. Uh, that all relate to this current adventure. Last phase of operation. Operation Headphones. I'm going to put a lot more Beth Dolling songs in the vlog. She does cover songs. She's a singer. She's beautiful. And piano. Like, she does everything. She's just amazing. All right, peace on the street, son. Just something I've noticed. I enjoy listening to Beth more because she's so pretty. Aww, I'm in love. Somebody let's slow down, pray for 
straight empty road. I see this house, there's a house right here. And this young lad in the truck pulls up and I'm like, hey, have you got any water? I was just wave my uh, beef free bottle at him, say maybe there's somewhere I could refill. And he's like, I'll go get you some. She's gonna get me some cold bottles. But what I think is more amazing than the fact he's getting me some water, he just left the Jeep there running. <laughs> That's trust. That's Missouri country trust right there. Yeah, I'll just get you water and just leave my vehicle still rolling. Brilliant. Life is worth living. There's always helpful, kind people everywhere. My favorite conspiracy theory of all conspiracies is that everyone is out there to do you good. That all of divine creation is conspiring to see you succeed. Everything is working together for good. For those that love the way the truth and the life and the light and the love and all that. All things work together for good. Boom. And it's not even a Sunday. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do ya? goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift, the powerful king composing, hallelujah. Whew. hallelujah. I think I've listened to Beth Dolling five times now, the loop, just plays round and around and around, still going. I'm so happy to see this, this is like an oasis in the desert right now. Oh, I had no idea it was here. And it's clearly going to have some sugary drinks, is what I'm aiming for. It's getting really hot now, which is slowing me down. I've started walking more frequently. It's normally run, 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 walk. Run, 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 walk. Now it's more like run, walk, run, walk, run, walk. Oh. Disappointing. I've got ice in my backpack, in my bee free bottle. That's another benefit of the bee free bottle. The neck is so big, you can get ice cubes in there. I've got a couple power aids. There's really no better options. There was a few fruit juices, but they're two or three times the price and two or three times less size. So you end up with less calories. 10 more miles to Higginsville. Higginsville is where I intend on stopping. And to be honest, 10 miles sounds like a lot at this point, it's so hot. But at least I know I can struggle 10 miles and get it done. I need to edit. And it's just so hot out here that I would much rather go inside air conditioning at this point, if I can afford it, which I can. Thanks to you guys. Thanks to the VIP people in the VIP department. Hi. <laughs> this is my new technique. Ice cold. I mean, it's melty now, but melted ice, ice water. Seems to cool me down just while I'm walking and then running and then walking and then running. Even if it's a placebo effect, it certainly feels a bit cooler. Just a little bit of relief. You can see on this arm, I've got the power bank wire, the red wire, wired in to the bomb. Tray bank. Hi. No. I'm running to California. 
Thank you. <laughs> Good balancing skills. <laughs> Feels like having a jellyfish on my head. Not that I've ever put a jellyfish on my head. I'd have to ask Steve-O about that. Time to keep running. <laughs> I just don't want to run with this. It's well balanced. While I'm walking and talking with a jellyfish on my head, a cold ice jellyfish, I'll just tell a quick story. All the way along here, I'm running along and I'm staying in this left lane, so the traffic's coming directly at me. I usually glance behind me if something's coming head on to see if they can get round, to see if they've got space to go in this lane. And if it's completely empty and clear behind me, I just stay on the road because there's this bit, which is gravel, and it's just a little bit wobbly and rough and kicking up stones and uneven surface. It's easier on the road. And also I don't want to keep crossing this line, which is an ankle twisting line right there. There's a little bit of a curb. Like this car is a perfect example. There's nothing behind me. He's going to go round. All right? No problem, because there's a whole other lane, completely empty. Everybody does exactly what they did, goes round. Except for one person earlier who I wish I could have had time to film it, you know, to push the button. But they just drove head on, head on, head on, and I'm like, what are they doing? And they just stopped. They literally stopped in the road. And we're doing all the like, oh, get out of the way, what are you doing? And I was like, I pointed, like, just confused. What? What about the other, le like, there's a whole road here. I just think that's funny that some people are out looking for confrontation and they'll find it. They'll even find it out here in a completely empty road. They'll confront the one guy <laughs> running in their lane and try and make an argument out of it. I was literally like, ah, ha, ha, ha. that made my day. Got a bit of an uphill struggle. There's a lot of these long hills like this. You can't tell inclines very clearly, but there's a very slow, gradual, painful incline. On the road to Higginsville, I ran every downhill and I walked the uphill. It's just like this, roller coaster style. And now I'm just walking. I'm so hot, I think it's just safer to just walk. I've been eating tons of raisins, cliff bars, drank so much water. I reckon I've had way over 10 liters today. I'm just thinking how many times I've stopped. And I often drink two liters. <sighs> Pretty exhausted. This is about as tired as I get from the heat. So the greatest accomplishment is I made it here before our special guest. Our surprise guest would have kind of intercepted me and messed it up a little bit. You know, they would have been like, hey, jump in. And then we'll drive and get food. And it's like, then I haven't really run the distance. I jumped in the car five or 10 miles early, but that's not the case. I raced them, I beat them here, and now they can find me somewhere in Higginsville. I just wanna get out this sun and get in some kind of shade or air conditioning or ice 
any of those would be nice. Big gulps, huh? All right. See you later. Two dollars for this monster size. Not even two. One seventy-seven. Are we ready for some surprise guests? Look at the beard on that! You look like Santa Claus. It's the quarantine beard. Look at that! The pandemic beard. Uh, uh, uh. That's longer than mine. What's up? Social media? <laughs> man, sunny. far today, man. Yeah. I was like thinking you'd stop me and I was like, oh well, I made it all the way. Took it like I kept thinking they'll be here any minute. They'll be here. I'm looking behind me, looking for them. Really? All the way. You drove all the way across the damn state. Yeah. Sebastian. Yo. You you. you. She grew a beard. Yeah. Do I look funny? Yeah. Yeah. I've been growing this shit since like March. Right. You're ahead of me. Put this down. I am a chicken. <laughs> I am chicken. You want to drop that in here? Or? Yeah, sure. You're comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Double support vehicle today. <laughs> Everybody's here, the whole family. Where do you want to go? Not back to Britain. We've arrived at the RV park with a swimming pool and uh, benches. Great <laughs> club. I yeah. don't think it's open. Ooh, so good to have a cold shower. I totally had that on cold. Turned it as cold as it would go. How we doing? What's up, people? People live inside the camera. So I'm pretty sun-blessed today. I spent a lot of time in the sun. Nipple. Didn't really intend on it. I just ended up waking up later than I hoped. I failed at the all-nighter. And just ended up going to bed at 2 a.m., which meant I didn't get up till 8 or 9, which meant I ended up running in the sun. So, lesson learned, but tomorrow I'm going to have a rest day. And uh, right now we got the whole crew here. It's cool. It's like a family vacation. Sydney and Stella jumping in the pool. I just really wanted a cold shower. That's just all I really want. I've eaten a melon. Now I'm thinking, what's next? I got beans and rice and stuff like that. Kick your feet right up, way! <laughs> Amazing. Beetle bug, I don't know if you can see it. See that right there? That's a beetle bug. I think I should name it the big beetle. It's good. Yay! I like that. You see him? Yeah. You okay with him here? Yeah, I was doing pull ups anyway. Okay. Hello, yeah. 
This is how you climb up. Can you get you to the top? I'm not going to get you down, you've got to climb down. If you can get up, you can get down. That's tough to get hold of the red one. Hey, good job. You don't know what you're doing. Now it's filming you, and then you can make that. See what I mean? I don't even know how Sebastian made these videos, but I may show you how to jump in the pool maybe tomorrow. He's actually good at it. Did you check the shot? Go around the other side of the screen and see. I think it's pointing too high. No, it's okay. Yeah? I pointed it high so it can uh, see me going high on the swing. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, I see what you're thinking. That's why you pointed it high, huh? Yep. Tonight, take an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow. <laughs>